Let's just get ourselves oriented to prepare for the landing again. And, I mean, last time, aside from failing to kill my lateral motion because I'm an idiot, uh, things went fairly okay. I mean, you know, as far as it goes. Alright, round two, moon. We're just gonna let ourselves accelerate to about 400 or something? Yeah. Whoop. We're getting closer. Okay, yeah. We're about 400, so let's... And I'm, I'm just bullshitting about what to actually do. Just let's decelerate a bit. Just as much as we can using the fuel here. Let's get it to about 200. Okay. And I mean, this is for the transfer stage to the moon, so we're using it for landing, which is good. I think it's very good. I'm gonna wait till 400 and then burn again. As much as we can with this fuel. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. Okay. Separate. And we'll get down to 200. Now we'll need to watch the speed a bit more. Coming in, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let's get ready. Oh, let's start decelerating. Da, da, da. Just trying to control the speed. We had a little extra fuel last time, so that's good. I can extend these, they don't really take electric charge once they're in the extended position. I'm guessing it does for like half a second. Okay, but let's just keep our speed manageable because this engine's not very powerful. It's very efficient, which is good. All I need to do is get us on the ground, and, uh, let's see here, uh, sorry about that, okay, uh, yeah, let's just keep going down pretty fast, yeah, let's work against that, and we'll have to correct basically for the spin of the moon. And this time, last time I was too afraid to try, but since that's the thing that actually ended up killing us... God, I wish this was like... I wish there was something, that, an indicator that told you where to point your ship in order to land in a way that, it, that will kill your movement. Because that looks pretty up and down straight line. Yeah, we're going down, everybody. But our speed's going down, too, which is cool. I like this keep it nice and manageable the whole way down. We won't need to employ our landing lights. Last time we still kind of had the sun helping to charge us, which is good. And, oh, space near the moon, that's 20. Sure. Just in case. Eh. <laughs> Once we get down... Okay, let's kill it right here. That's fine. See, how's the goo doing? Well, it feels right at home. That's good. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Sure, send it again. We have the charge just about. Hopefully. This engine doesn't give electric charge, though, so... Yeah, we're not gonna do any more of that, just in case. But, I mean... Eking every little bit is gonna be the name of the game for Kerbal Space Command. Nice, easy landing. And this time, we will have hope. And it looks like we somehow managed to land on a relatively flat bit of this. It's not like that was actually really flat and I fucked it. Um, this one, it looks like we're gonna still be okay. And we're falling, but our speed is decreasing. I like that. This is this or, this landing takes a while, but this way it will be relatively easy to decelerate. 
As, as I mentioned previously, there's no atmosphere to help us out with arrow breaking or any of that. Let's start killing the motion a little quicker. Just bringing it in nice and easy, nice and easy. We don't have any electric charge to spare for transmitting or any of that. I really don't want to run out of power and lose control. Even for a couple seconds, if we nose down or some, or some stupid thing. Okay, I see our shadow. I think. I thought that was our shadow. No, I don't. I don't actually see our sh uh See, that looks like it's it, but it's not. Okay, this is nice and stable. I like this. I like it a lot. Let's keep that engine power up. Now, the thing is, we have to be careful not to stop too many times, or the lateral motion, again, will kill us. So we've got to watch that. Because I think that's what was happening. Come on, just land intact. That's all I need from you. See, now we're doing this again. This is the exact same thing that happened. should be working against our lateral motion. Oh boy. Decel burn. See, now we're doing this again. Again. See, the speed indicator indicates both, like, both kinds of speed. Would that make it an accelerometer? Whatever. Just get us on the surface, please. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Please, no. No. Whatever. I'm an idiot, I panicked. Wait, 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 wait. Don't. They're broken. Direct sunlight. So this thing will continue to exist and charge, but it's. It's useless. The broken, shattered remains of probe number two. Ugh. I'm gonna do it again. Fuck me. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. I did this before. I don't know what's my major malfunction is, but I'm just an idiot. Okay, just stop wobbling like that. Just settle. In any case, failure two. Throttled up. No, I don't want to revert it. I want to leave this thing here as a monument to my failures. You know, that's kind of the name of the game. So I'll be right back, everybody. And uh, and this is because of the stupid way I designed my craft. It actually takes a bit of effort in order to fly this thing above the usual. And I have to do a couple things really precisely, so... Uh, I'll just come back when we're there. Again. Okay, third time's the charm. We're actually gonna hit it on the return sweep of this one. I don't care it's a moon encounter. I am lucky to be getting this three times in a fucking row, man. Especially considering I'm having trouble getting a stable orbit because I'm stupid. But, <laughs> three times I've set it up in basically the exact same way. I won't need to, uh... I won't need to spam the, uh... the comms array or anything, so I can just keep recording for this one, because, like... Also, those lag spikes when you're in time acceleration, if the game detects lag, it should automatically downgrade the time acceleration, because otherwise, you just tend to lag through things. Like, it... At the same time, we're taking to... Where is the moon, anyhow? There it is. Yeah, we're gonna do one of those weirder orbital things where we kind of catch up to it. I'm hoping going very slowly and calmly. We're about to pass.
pass into the sphere of influence of it. It actually kind of looks like we're about to hit, it's about to hit us, rather. Okay, new, new flight plan. And again, we're gonna fucking hit the same spot on this damn... Okay, now what's it doing there? Why is it doing that? I just wanna... Now, why is it... Why is it turning? Okay, I know this works. Why doesn't it, though? That's the... Look at this. This is not at all what actually happens in these situations. Also, whoa, our projected... What? Really? We're gonna escape the fucking solar system? I don't believe it. Something's wo something's wonked up here. Maneuver planning is very useful, but for this one, we kind of know. Unless we're about to get sucked back into Kerbin's gravity well. I would really love to know where the fuck my maneuver is. Or Okay, it settled down a little bit. We were just kind of... Oh my god. Kerbin's gonna grab us, like... Alright, fuck the computer. I know how to do this burn. Luke, what's wrong? You switched off your maneuver planning. Which direction is the apocalypse is going? so pissed if this doesn't work. Okay, and I might have got myself another night landing surely through being stupid. I know this is how it works, damn it. Come on. Yep, there we go. Just get me down. We've introduced a minor eccentricity into our thing. Okay, what did we stand on? Uh, about the same as last time, every time. Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking to having to keep do this, because it's not effortless. In fact, this time I missed my uh, apoapsis or periapsis, whatever the thing is. I missed my thing last time when I was trying to establish an orbit of Kerbin. Because honestly, I don't bother even establishing a stable orbit most of the time. I just see if I, the moon's in a position to burn to. And fortunately, we caught it at a time where it is, kind of. Damn it. Yeah, that minor eccentricity is gonna... To counteract that, I think I burn this way? Or is that making it worse? That's making it worse. Which I would have realized if I thought about it for half a second. Okay, what if I do... Th okay, come on. Come on. We are under thr throttle. No, 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 no. Stop. Fuck it. No, 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 wait. Fuck it. Take us down, Mr. Spock. Oh, Jesus! This is what I'm talking about! This is the exact fucking thing. That time acceleration lag was fucking hacks. We're probably gonna die now, everybody. Fair warning. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we can we can physically slow down on this, but we're gonna go full burn. Oh, man. It's that it's that lag when the game hitches before loading the next part of the mission. Yeah, we might die here. We may just literally not have enough engine power to overcome that because we drifted so close without deselling. It's possible. Well, there's some data to be had in there at least. Yeah, we're probably just gonna die. This engine may not be powerful enough to stop our... Now, 
see, it says our motion is that way. Okay, so we do have enough... Oof, that was a little harrowing. We're gonna be landing under a hill. Okay, yeah, landing lights are on. I still don't... I'm just gonna burn towards this, the, the direction against our motion. I don't know what that is actually called, but I'm gonna do that. I do it where the speed stays literally the equivalent same? No, I can't. I can do this, kind of. Come on, lights. The lights are engaged. The surface looms up out of the dark. We're going real fucking fast, everybody. Everybody hang on to something. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. Just land, you motherfucker. Just land. Just get on the ground and don't break. Okay, now we're killing our lateral motion. That's cool. That's cool. Come on, come on, come on. Lateral motion, come on. Kill the lateral motion. Don't break. Don't. Comms antenna is intact. Solar panels are intact. Oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Oh my god We did it everybody <laughs> Now imagine when real lives are at stake when I'm doing this Oh my god <laughs> That was horrifying And it's cause I'm stupid um, I've done these landings before kind of Um We're on the moon <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ooh. Next time we're gonna have to send someone to fly the flag here. Now the question is, if I landed this upright, and I don't think I'm skilled enough to do that, but if this was if I this could be made upright, <laughs> could we get back to Kerbin on this much fuel? It's a possibility. It's way easier to get away from the moon than it is to get away from You know what? Fuck it, we're here. Let's pass some goddamn time while the universe tilts around us. Look, guys, we got one here that didn't fucking break. Now we'll watch the world turn. And the sun rises. And here we are. Ah, and a curb and rise too. Oh, that feels good. Did anything physically break, or did we land it soft? Dark sunlight, dark sunlight. Nothing's broken. Wow. I'm personally pretty astounded. Okay, um. So I'm just gonna be transmitting data for quite a while, but. We'll give them something to hear about. Translate right into the ground. 20 science. Another 15. Another 12. Oh, yeah. But just more importantly, guys, we did it. Finally. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, the science we get from this is going to be enough for some uh, tech upgrades, which is good. Because we're going to need it. Uh, maybe I'll also do, like piloting upgrades so I'm not stupid because landing this upright is probably perfectly possible. Uh, I just feel triumphant. I mean, we knew the design could do it. So I'm just going to be doing this for quite a while and then we'll go buy stuff and that'll probably end out the session for right now. But damn, we're on the moon. You know, I've never successfully... I've landed on the moon before. I've never successfully returned. Which is a whole different proposition. On 
the slowly tilting world. Yay, us! Look, we're already back in space. No, no. That's just a matter. Now the collision thing doesn't happen. Weird. Whatever. Oh, just feels nice to triumph. There's so much fuel left in our tank, too. I wonder... Okay, we've done all the science here. Can we pull ourselves upright if we pull? Not really. But what if we tried to get back? Well, it would probably result in us just breaking the ship. No, this thing doesn't have enough torque to sit up. Does it? Does it even have enough torque to roll itself right now? It's such a tiny puny thing. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, do I want to try and attempt to get this thing off the planet? probably going to result in bad things happening. Might not even have enough to get home. I forget which way even points up. I think it's that one? No, this thing's... Toast. Wait, wait, no, yeah, it's toast. Okay. Whoa, that was impressive. We had to try, everybody. Please don't die. Oh. Is everything ruined forever? Wait, now it has the power to stop itself. Broken. Broken. Okay, so it's ruined forever. It got us all the data we needed, and really, I just want the thing to sit there as a monument. It was probably worth it to try and get it home. But for right now... That's the Wayfarer Project. And whatever. We did it, guys. I am going to redesignate these as, <laughs> as debris. Um, if we designate them as debris, I think the tracking station will lose track of them. So, uh... Let's actually... We'll make them as bases. They are bases now, because they are landed. Oh. We could try lifting off with these ones too, I mean, this one especially is intact. first attempt, my first humiliating failure. And we're so close to the other probe. The thing is, I don't think there's any way to get this thing taken off. Not in a way that's like... Not in a way that will lift us off. Now it will just result in bloodshed, misery, and pain, but it will. What if... Nope. It just causes that to happen again. Broken. Broken. I don't even care. They're useless to me anyhow. That did bounce impressively. You're now a base. Congratulations. And this one I don't even think is capable of taking off. It's it's just... It's in bits. But whatever, we got to the moon several times. That one. Yeah, all three I tried to... Actually, this one, I think, broke on the landing. Oh, well. Eh. 
And with that, let's head back to Carbal Space Command. I'm glad it doesn't track debris. I'm s I wish there was an option to track debris, let me put it that way. Well, in any case, uh... Next step is a manned mission, but, uh... With some tech upgrades, even I won't be able to fuck this up, and that will be... Well, let's see how much we've unlocked. Because oh, our efforts, though they have repeatedly resulted in failure, have still resulted in us getting fu uh, fucking science. We got fucking science. Now, we could do small things which are cool. Oh, I want those, though. I want the photovoltaic. But... Fuel lines. I mean, we can get lots of these things. Fortunately. Heavy duty landing strut, heavy duty parachute. A barometer, which will provide us more science eventually. I think what we're gonna do. Oh, I love those adapter parts. It would just set my mind at ease. Structural fuselage, the recommends fuel tank. Hydraulic deployment manifold. Um, yeah, those adapters and the huge decoupler, it will come in handy. The Poodle liquid engine will be another step. I don't think we're ready for heavy rocketry yet. We're going to get fuel lines and then... If we get that, and then that, now... We're gonna get... I like the idea of more electronic parts. This is all cool stuff. Do we have regular RCS? Okay, yes we do. We have... RCS fuel lines. Oh, that's gonna be nice. That's just gonna be nice. Um, and then we just have our pick of... Like, every one of these is going to be cool, but what's going to be the most cool? It would be nice to have these. And I mean, the photovoltaic panels. Are nice. Um, let's get... that, which allows us access to this, potentially. Maximize your energy production. Stackable battery bank. That's a, that's the huge battery bank. Uh, electronics. The accelerometer is nice, because we can use it in areas... Because the barometer... We're not going to get barometric readings on the freaking moon. So there's that. Um, but we can get one of these 90 pointers still. And the one I want to get most. No, I don't think there's any question what 90 pointer I want to get. I want to get that just for helping us. These these two things will help us build cooler rockets. And I mean, that will unlock uh, space station tech. I mean, soon, too. Specialized control, linear RCS port, huge ass parachutes, the lander can. Lander count sounds good, and of course the Mark 3, 1, 2 command pod. Ah, uh, hmm. That would be cool, because we could use it for symmetry with the goo canister, but anyhow, that's gonna, that's some nice tech we just unlocked. I am rather happy about our forward technological progress, honestly. I think we're doing just fine. So we didn't unlock any new things here. Oh god, oh Christ, um... Alright, see you guys in a bit.